Welcome to my channel. Today's topic is conductors and insulators. You will also learn why do metals conduct electricity. Electric charge can not only exist on an object but it can move through it as well. Materials however differ vastly in their abilities to allow electric charge to move or conduct it through them. The difference between electrical conductors and insulators is related to their atomic structure. I will explain it further in the next slides. Metals such as copper, aluminium, silver and gold are excellent conductors. Hence they are used in electrical wiring. Electrical insulators are materials that conduct electric charge poorly. Although there are some exceptions, generally good thermal conductors are good electrical conductors as well. Also, in many cases, thermal insulators are also electrical insulators. Rubber, wood and many plastics are some common examples. Electrical wiring is coated by rubber or plastic to prevent electric charge from going where it is not wanted. do metals conduct electricity? Electrons in the outer orbits experience a weaker force of attraction to the nucleus than electrons do in the inner orbits around the nucleus. This is in general for all the atoms, either they are conductors, metals or non-metals. Then what happens? Consequently, the valence electrons, that is electrons which are in the outermost valency shell, they are dislodged more easily than the inner ones. In a good conductor, these free electrons are detached from a parent atom and they move freely throughout the material, belonging to no one particular atom. Whereas, in case of insulators, what happens? In case of insulators, there are no free electrons. Hence, there will be no conduction of electric charge or insulators are poor conductors of electricity. When one end of a metal bar is placed in contact with a negatively charged object and the other end in contact with a positively charged object, these free electrons from metal atoms readily move away from the negative end and towards the positive end as you can see by the arrows. Whereas in an insulator as I have already shared that there are very few free electrons to move hence more or less every atom in an insulator remains bound to its parent atom. Therefore there is very little flow of charge when an insulator is placed between two oppositely charged bodies. The promptness or quickness and ready movement of electrons in case of metals is a distinctive feature of a good conductor. Thank you for watching. Electric charge can not only exist on an object but it can move through it as well. Materials however differ vastly in their abilities to allow electric charge to move or conduct it through them. The difference between electrical conductors and insulators is related to their atomic structure. You will see that in metals which are good conductors there are free electrons whereas in insulators there are no free electrons hence insulators are poor conductors of electricity.